Burger King is under fire after employees at a Louisiana restaurant refused to serve uniformed police officers who came through the drive through Burger King and that specific location have apologized. Joining us now, James McDermott. He's the president of the Nassau County Police PBA. You're not happy about this? No, not one bit. Well, you can't be. How can I? Well, you, look, people are throwing Trump supporters out of restaurants. But you police officers, you can't say, I don't like your politics, so I'm not going to cover this crime. You can't do that. No, we can't discriminate, nor should they. Is a lot of this happening? Uh, you know what? Through the, I've been a police officer for 34 plus years. There, there's always been examples of things where people don't like the police. They've spit in food and terrible things like that. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is the pendulum going too far in one direction. I don't think anybody of a sane mind could agree with this, not serving someone based on wearing a uniform. It's a classic example of discrimination and hate. And, you know, it should, shouldn't be tolerated, just like any other discrimination should not be But if tolerated. your officers front up to a restaurant of any kind and they are refused service, what should they do? Well, you know what? Um, that's something that now the union should get involved, that the department should get involved. Why do you want to patronize, patronize a place that doesn't want you? Well, they would accept it, I take it, and walk out with walk class away. and style. Absolutely. And then get and back what, to them later. That's what these officers basically did in uh, Louisiana. What, what can you do on a national basis when this kind of thing is happening on a more and more frequent basis? Well, what can I do as a yeah. union head? Well, you know what? Uh, I don't think Burger King did enough. I know they came, they came out and they apologized. Apologize. Was that an economic decision to apologize? I don't, you know, I don't know. But uh, I wouldn't go to a Burger King right now until they do more. You see the, the example with Starbucks. They did a, they closed all their stores for a day and they did a sensitivity training. Could they be se do sensitivity for police officers too? We're no different than anybody, anyone else. We're we're part of the community. We're we're fathers. We're brothers. We're sisters. We're mothers. We're coaches. We're you know. Just like anybody else in this country. James, I've got to end it, but I do want to thank you very much for coming on the show. You're welcome. Pointing out something that is a disgraceful feature of our society at this moment, and you're not going to stand for it. Thank you for having James me. James McDermott, you're all right. Thank all you, right. sir.